Saturday and Sunday, July 6th and 7th. Uh-oh, on the 7th. Ha! Ah, oh! Mercury just went retrograde. We'll talk about that. It's just starting now. Things fly around. July 6th was the Dalai Lama's birthday. I love the Dalai Lama. You know why I love him? Because he chose to come in as an enlightened master under the sign of cancer. And cancer, as we know, gets a bad rap. People don't understand the deepest power on this planet is when you can be authentically human, you disarm your pretense, and there's something so real and honest about it that you become so endearing and so much love comes towards you. So here's a surprise. All the pretense that we have of hiding behind our mask, of being some kind of normal person, which is a setting on the dryer, is dated. What's really true is the more we can be in our human raw self, I'm scared, I'm lonely, I don't understand, I miss you. All those feelings, I just made a short list. That's what makes people very attracted to someone if they can tell the truth. Now, why do we love the Dalai Lama? Because his innocence and his emotions, after having so much to spare this life, being taken away from where he grew up, where thousands, 5,000 years of a temple, the Portala, where all of his relics and all of his books have been left behind, he continues to keep his heart open. Today, the sun is in Cancer and the Saturn is in Capricorn right across the way. Look at that. That happens once a year. I was born with this. So Saturn is the planet of life lessons. It's sitting right across from the sun. If a child were born today, they'd have wisdom and old soul because Saturn, while it brings hardship, is in Capricorn right opposite the sun. And then two signs away, the moon is in Virgo. So we have sun in Cancer, moon in Virgo. We have Saturn in Capricorn right opposite. And next to Cancer is Mercury and Mars conjunct, Mercury and Mars conjunct in Leo giving drama. And that's why today's video has got a little drama. It's the Dalai Lama's birthday. And if we lived in that part of the world, we would worship him. Why? Because his heart is so pure. In fact, you know what? He is a double Cancer with Virgo rising. And today the sun's in Cancer with Virgo. So it's the pure heart. So I'm going to ask all of you this weekend to remind yourself of the spiritual promise that we see so clear in the Dalai Lama, that we will not get caught in our possessions, our obsessions, with our vulnerability being hidden behind, but we'll come straight up and forward and say, I'm scared, I'm lonely, I was wrong, I miss you. That's the job this weekend, to be emotionally open and tell that moon in Virgo to not criticize you while you're doing it, but to actually put words to what really matters. Like, I love you, and I can't wait to see you, and I miss you, and I can't wait to see you. Those emotional truths will open up everyone's heart. Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you, it's time to keep the heart open in honor of our good friend, the Dalai Lama.